Today, I'm going to show you how to install a remote start system on a 2017 Jeep Wrangler. How to wire to video. How to make your own. How to make your own hard top part. How to change the oil. How to fix the light problems. How to install. How to do a complete tune-up. I'm going to show you how to do that. Like I said, I'm going to show you how to install a plug and play remote start system from my push cart on a 2017 Jeep Wrangler. This kit will work for 2007 through 2017 Jeep Wranglers. We're doing it today on a 2017 because there's one little difference in the 2017s. I believe the difference might actually be in the 16s and the 17s, but it's uh, nothing major. It's just a small little tiny change. I'll show you what that is when we get to that point. So before we get started, I'm going to show you what tools you're going to need, and then we'll get right into the install. You're going to need a light so you can see underneath your dash, a T20 Torx, a ratchet with a 10 millimeter socket, a plastic pry tool or a plastic scraper, some electrical tape, some zip ties, something to cut the zip ties, and your key. Like I said before, this is a plug and play kit, so it is really simple. There's not a whole lot to it. You basically Get some paperwork, your box. You get your T-harness is what this is called. Your Fortin module, some zip ties and uh, some optional stuff like a hood pin and a valet switch. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is get the steering column up a little bit because we need to remove this panel here. And this is really simple. You just get in here and give it a little tiny tug. Now we have three T20 Torx screws that are holding the column clamshell or casing together. There's one right here in the center. There's another one that is right up inside this hole, right beside the lever for your tilt. And then there's another right over here inside this hole beside your ignition. Now this is the part that I mentioned that's different for, I believe the 16s and the 17s for this little plastic shroud slash clamshell here. The difference being on the 07 through 15, once you take those three screws out, you're able to just pop this apart. Well, on the 16s and 17s, they added a little lip for some reason that goes up into the steering wheel, which makes this a little more difficult to get off. I've seen a lot of videos and uh, posts and forums and things where people say that you need to remove your steering wheel, your airbag and all that stuff to get in here. But I'm gonna show you that you actually don't have to do that. It's actually relatively easy. We get our plastic pry tool wedged in here enough to push this panel back and we get it wedged up in between here just like that and and get it off now that we've got that removed we're going to move around to the other side and actually get our t-harness installed now that we've got you around to the other side you can see your ignition here and then this little box is your immobilizer and we need to unplug this harness right here. You want to be really gentle. You want to kind of hold on to the immobilizer while you do this because it can break. It is kind of tricky to get in here. You don't have a whole lot of space to get your fingers in here because on the opposite side, there's a little indent that has to be pressed in. There we go. You can see that is a pretty hard plug to get out of there. Now that we have that unhooked, we're going to take our T-harness here. We're going to plug this right back in to where we just removed the plug for the immobilizer. Push it until it clicks. And then we're going to 
take the other end of the harness and plug our Jeep wiring back into it. I know at the beginning of the video, I said you didn't have to do any cutting, but um, I just realized that you actually you do. There's one wire that's in the harness that you get with the remote start, and it has a little tag on it that says, cut this wire if you have a Wrangler. I don't know if you can see that or not. So we're gonna cut that wire. And I've got some tape here to put onto the ends just to make sure we don't have any connection or anything once this is all tucked away. Okay, now that we've got that plugged in, we are going to take our module. We're going to get it programmed. What we're going to do is locate the programming button. We're going to press and hold the programming button. Then we're going to take this black four pin harness and plug it in. And you'll notice that, get it plugged in all the way here. Then you'll notice that we have some colors changing. And what we wanna do is wait for this to cycle through and to turn all blue, let go of the button then we can plug in our white 20 pin harness. Our red harness here on the other side. Along with the white harness. Now we have all of our connections made. Now all we need to do is put our key in the ignition and turn it to the on position. Don't start it, just turn it to the on slash run position. You should see the LEDs flashing. And then we can turn the key back off. And then we hit the lock button on our keys. And just like that, we're programmed. We've got the garage door open. We're gonna go ahead and test this out. All you have to do is hit the lock button three times. And just like that, you have a remote start. So now we can work on getting this all tucked away and everything put back together. Now we're going to take our 10 millimeter socket and remove these two 10 millimeter bolts so we can get this panel off of here. Then all we have to do is lift up on this panel and it'll cut right out. The reason why we take that panel off is so that we can take our new wiring harness and remote start and get everything nice and neat and tucked away inside here. And everything is put back together. That's it for the video. So if uh, you came across this and you're not one of my subscribers, make sure to go into my channel and check out a couple videos. I've got all kinds of different stuff in there. If you find a video that you like, hit the like button. If you have something to say, leave it down in the comments. And if you find a couple videos that you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, so all you have to do is hit your lock button three times. And then if you decide that you don't want to go outside and hit the brake to shut it off, if you decide you're not going to go anywhere, then you can hit lock three times again and it will shut off.